Is Player Unknown's Battlegrounds easy to run? Well, we'll take a look at it today with my GTX 780, my good old R9 270 from Team Red, and last but not least, let's not forget my regrets of 2015, the GT 730. Now, starting off with the 780, performance was pretty decent. At 1080p medium settings, we were at about 49 FPS on average. Guys, is it 60? Well, if you ever taken a math class, no. But is it playable? Yes. The game was beyond playable in my opinion. It ran smoothly. It didn't have much of a hitch. Some FPS drops, but that's expected in this game. However, with the 780 going ahead and bumping it down to 4K proved to be very bad for it. We did lose about half our frames. We did get a minute 14 and a max of 27. That's a decent range, but the average... It's actually toward the max. That's kind of impressive. But anyways... The card's aged, and it's not exactly good at 4K anymore. Even driving at 4K was horrendous. But anyways, let's go ahead and move on to another favorite on my card, and that would be the R9 270. It's a medium range card from just a few years ago that is still beauty to this day. You can pick one up cheap yourself, and it'll pre play, play, whoa, play pretty much any game you throw at it. When we bumped it down to low settings, we were practically in the FPS at the 780 got a medium. That is impressive and that is outstanding. I also want to do a quick note. If you're wondering what CPU I'm running this on, it's a Pentium G3258 at 4.4 GHz. Whoa! Why is this not an i7? Well, because not everyone has an i7, guys. Most people probably have an i3 or a Pentium or their parents' computer when they're playing this game right here. And this is about the CPU performance level you're probably going to get. And yes, if you have an i5 or an i7, you're going to get much higher frames with these exact same cards. The game does like CPU, so just keep that in mind. Every single frame rate you see here, if you have better CPU and the same GPU or the GPU around that same performance level, you'll see a massive boost from a better CPU. But if you're just a casual gamer, the guy who still has his parents' computer or something else, then this is probably what you're going to get. And also, guys, I forgot to mention a second ago, never put the r 274 k Never do that. But finally, let's move on to the GT730. It's like any great graphics on a dedicated GPU, which is basically what it is. Is it outstanding? Is the performance impressive? No, it is not. Was it playable? Some people will say no to the 25 FPS, but I say yes to 25 FPS. It was perfectly fine, and to be honest, I played an entire match with it, which is what you're seeing. All the footage that was recorded was recorded on the cards that it was playing on, so fun little fact. As you were watching the video, you were actually watching footage from the cards. Not from some 10, 1080 Ti upscale or anything, no. I do footage from the card directly. And as you can see, my game with the GT730 did not end well. But moral of the story, guys, is you can pretty much run this game on most things. As long as you have a pretty decent CPU, you can pretty much have any great graphics and play the game. And if you can't, lower your settings. Unless your CPU is very bad, at that point you're not really going to be able to play. But otherwise, just, 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 just go down to 480p if you have to. You know, 800x600 is always an option, guys.